Yo, what is up guys? Boltrix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we're gonna be playing some Ceramic Crucible Speed Bonanza, so let's hop right in today's video, okay? So, I decided not to play free power-ups because the last, like, four videos I've played it, okay? So I wanna switch it up a little bit, have some fun in Speed Bonanza, and hope for some epic and great games, okay? You guys know how much I absolutely love Speed Bonanza, okay? So, if you guys are new to the channel, now you know, okay? And by the way, since you're new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button right now for me. And while you're at it, drop a like on today's video. I guarantee you will not regret it. We got our first opponent, J15, on the map, Temple. Gonna be skipping it just because it is a rather short map. And also, I'm gonna be showing you guys my ultimate go-to strategy in Speed Bonanza, which is Ninja Farm Super Monkey, okay? You wanna 100,000% go the strategy. It's super freaking good. And you guys will not regret it. And you're going to get a ton of wins using it. Okay, so of course, we got the map shapes. So like I said, Ninja Farm Super Monkey. If we really want to, we can play around with our powers, I guess. We could change out our Salted Wounds probably. So we're going to keep... Actually, no, we're going to change our uh, boost as well to the Big Balloon Buster. And I guess we'll just keep this because I honestly don't know what else to switch it to. Okay, wait, I switched it to the Spike Storm last second. Okay, cool. But the powers don't matter too much, to be honest with you guys. As long as you have your Big Balloon Buster... And then I guess your Eco Choke as well, you'll be pretty good, okay? So it looks like J15 is not going to be farming, um, which is kind of weird to be honest with you all. So uh, we're going to be Eco Choking him right here. Oh, he just went for that farm actually, okay? So let's get up a 0, zero Ninja so we can at least defend against the AI. There we go. Um, and he already did upgrade to a Lightning Wizard. Um, so with us having this Eco Choke, this is actually going to tremendously help us because he's not going to be able to outfarm us, okay? He's actually going to fall behind in the farms quite a lot all right so uh we're gonna be definitely getting our factory a lot sooner than he will be uh we can upgrade to the 2-1 it looks like yeah he's gonna be aggressive with some eco as well um so good thing that we did upgrade this we're probably gonna have to continue to upgrade it more or i need like spike storm it's on the long lines of that boys holy crap all right so we definitely did take a punch let's spike storm really quickly as well he just was not stopping with that eco okay so i did leak quite a bit of lives 100 lives okay but it's all good. It's really all good. I do not mind whatsoever as long as we eco choke him and continue to get up our farms and I am big chilling. Okay, so I guess we're just going to get this balloon jitsu because we 100% have to. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate, but he's just not stopping his aggression with this eco. So um, I guess we're just going to have to upgrade defenses. Let's eco choke him once more. There we go. He just collected all those bananas while he was being choked. Holy crap. Okay, so uh, we definitely got... Uh, quite a bit of money taken from him, I guess, if that makes any sense. I don't know, really. Okay, so uh, we have about 9,000 with our farm, so about 5,000 right now. We can go for our factory. There we go. Um, so, yeah, he only has a single plantation, okay? So, although he's been super aggressive and got 100 lives off of us, he just is not looking good in the farms. And money is everything, absolutely everything in this game, okay? So, if you do not maintain good farms, then you're most likely going to lose the game, all right? I can tell you guys that right freaking now. So, what we're going to be doing on round 11 is rushing him with a ton of rainbows. There is absolutely no way he's going to be able to defend against all of them. And it's pretty much going to be a GG, okay? There's just going to be way too much regrow on the map. 4J15, even with the boost, and he is eventually going to go down to all of the regen rainbows, and that is going to be a GG, okay? So, as you guys can see, pretty easy win, and also, you can see how important it is to maintain good farms. Don't be aggressive like he was. Yes, he got 100 lives off of us, but in the end, we won the game, okay? So, GG, my friend. I will catch y'all in the next one. So, we're back with our next opponent, XBA4QKLSD. I have no idea what his name means but yeah that was his name so we got the map ghostly coast i try to go for like a little bit longer map so definitely be skipping that snowfall can work out for us if he does indeed want to play so yeah our third power i really don't know uh what else you could have i guess you could have like uh, turbo mobs if you really want those that could work out for us yeah let's use the turbo mobs uh but other than that we could use also the super eco boost if you really wanted to or if we had a dual eco boost i would probably put that um, but we do not, unfortunately. So, yeah, we're just going to be going along with this. Uh, let's see what we get as a fourth. Dart Monkey probably won't be using that at all. Uh, but let's just hop right into this one, okay? So, I'm just going to assume that this guy does not indeed have an Eco Choke. So, definitely going to be starting off with the Banana Farmer. And also, while we're at it, we're sending him some Eco, okay? I send a little bit of Eco uh, towards my opponent every single game at the start of the game because I want to put up some pressure on his side. Uh, so it forces an upgrade first rather than like an upgrade in the farms. Okay, hopefully that does indeed make sense. Uh, we're going to be eco choking him actually as well. There we go. Um, so yeah, he's just not stopping with his eco. So just like the last guy, probably going to be pretty aggressive with eco. Looks like he's just ecoing in general. 
Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to play a little bit more on the defensive side, which is fine, okay? Um, but yeah, he is eventually going to get screwed over because this is obviously a non-eco mode. Speed Bonanza, 100,000 million percent go farms. Never go eco. It's not going to work out for you, okay? So uh, we're just going to have to play, like I said, a little bit more defensively by upgrading more defenses and stuff like that. Uh, but we should be pretty good, okay? So it looks like he did indeed stop. He stopped ecoing for a second. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's eco choke him right now. There we go. And let's go for, hmm, actually, let's go for another double shot ninja because there are a lot of greens on the map right now, boys. We could probably sell one of these to go for a blue jitsu. Yeah, let's just do that really quickly uh, so we can get up, hopefully, another plantation. But he's just going to be continuing his aggression with uh, this eco. So I'm going to hopefully get up one more plantation and then upgrade probably to a double shot ninja in order to defend against the yellows, okay? So, yeah, let's actually do that right now. There we go. Um, so constant yellows going to be a little bit annoying, but uh, in the end we definitely will be good We got up a Republic. So that's a good thing uh, So once we have around five thousand dollars is when we will indeed go for our factory Which we probably should towards the end of this round. Um, so that is a great thing. So yeah, let's do that right now There we go micro is indeed on point boys Let's get it and we're also gonna be sending him a lead next round just because I know for a fact he has no lead detection uh, so that will stop his equine just for a second. If he continues with some pinks, I'll probably just upgrade to another Bloon Jitsu. Um, he's just not going to pop the leads. Okay, never mind. He has the wizard on his side. Nicely done. Hopefully we can get up maybe another uh, Republic, or not a Republic, a factory next round. And we're just going to all out this guy round 13 once again. Like, anticlimactic games, but you guys can see how easy it is to win games in Ceramic Crucible Speed Bonanza, okay? It is no challenge whatsoever, so if you guys are looking to gain some medallions, definitely play in this mode, okay? And it just came out, so it's going to be out for the rest of the day today, all right, on December, what day is it? December 18th, okay? So, uh, definitely make sure y'all play this, okay? So, of course, we're going to be sending him a ton of rainbows. It looks like he's going to be coming at us with some as well, uh, but we, of course, have the stalling ability on our Sabo, and there is absolutely no way XBA is going to be able to defend against all of that, and that is going to be another GG, okay? So, I'm hoping for some late game action next game, so hopefully we can find a much better opponent. No offense to this guy, um, but yeah, GG's, my friend. I will catch y'all in the next one. So, we're back with our next opponent, Magic Modest, all right? So... Hopefully he can defend round 13 or round 11 it is, uh, but I might just not rush him. I just want to go late game. I honestly do. That's what I absolutely love doing in Speed Bonanza. So yeah, we're probably going to be doing that on the map offside too. Let's freaking get it boys. Okay, so I'm hoping for Ice is the fourth. That would be lit. Okay, if we get Ice, that's amazing. Please? Okay, we got the sniper. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, but with having these turbo mobs, maybe that is the next best power to have. Definitely have your big balloon buster and then your eco choke. And then either that power or your dual eco boost, okay? Because the dual eco boost is super duper good, okay? So I was a little bit late to sending him some eco. All good though. Looks like he started off with a tower anyway, so that is a great thing. We're also going to be going for this plantation once we can. There we go. And yeah, okay, so another guy not starting off with the farms. Not a good sign whatsoever, boys. Let's upgrade this to the 0, zero just to be safe. So he might have the farms. It's just, no, he doesn't. What? Why is nobody farming, man? Nobody is farming in Speed Bonanza. That is absolutely insane. Always, always, always farm. I just feel like I have to stress this a lot because our first, no, wait, our first opponent did just that he did not farm well at all. Like, for example, look, I'm leaking lives right now, but I would much, much, much rather put my farms or put my money back into my farms than my defenses, okay? As long as I'm alive, then I don't really mind, okay? So it looks like he's coming at us with a ton more eco now. So of course, now I'm going to be upgrading. Uh, we'll probably actually have to sell a farm or two. Jesus, he was just not stopping with that eco whatsoever, boys. Holy crap. So, you know, if you're about to die, definitely sell a farm, okay? Uh, I just did not have enough to upgrade to the Blue Jitsu at the time, so... Yeah, that was a little bit nerve-wracking, but we're going to be good for the most part, okay? So, here he comes, of course, with even the yellows on tap. Um, so, we're going to have to upgrade, of course. And then we're also going to be eco-choking him here in a second as well. Uh, right about now. There we go. And then let's go for this Republic here. Okay, so we're a little bit behind on the farms. There's no issues with that, though. I don't really mind. Um, and it looks like he did indeed stop ecoing. Okay, so we're just going to all out this guy once again, like... I need to stress this to you guys because I see a lot of people in the comment section, they just say that they're struggling with earning medallions, getting wins, etc, etc. But you guys can see how easy it is in a game mode like this, okay? Absolutely. I don't even care if he's spamming the wizards as well. It does not matter. It will not be enough to defend against infinite rainbows. Okay, maybe the ice. 
Uh, but we will send some camos over top. Okay, so if he's lucky enough to upgrade to that Arctic wind, I'm going to show you guys how uh, to avoid losing or him being able to defend against that. Okay, but it looks like he still doesn't even have enough money to get up in Arctic wind. And magic is going to go down to the infinite rainbows once again super easy victory like i've gotten three victories within the span of 10 minutes it's absolutely insane okay so i'm praying and hoping to god that we can find a very very good opponent because i'm really trying to go late game right now and i've played free power ups way too many times okay so willy wildland 69 okay please man please 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 i really really want to go late okay wizard's keep is indeed the map uh, a little bit of a short-term map, so we're going to be skipping that. Let's hope for something a little bit better. <laughs> Indoor pools. Okay, Willie was like, heck no, boy. Okay, we got the map hot tub, definitely. This is a map that will indeed work out. Okay, so I'm hoping as nice as the fourth. Please. Okay, the boomer. That's fine with me. He's quitting. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I make no cut here because I just want to show you guys that these are the opponents that I'm getting. And he just quits. What is this? Okay, we're gonna continue on. Let's uh, find somebody else hoping for some good. Okay, yes, we got somebody good. He looks good. Okay, whoa, what? Dude, he had like over 100,000 medallions and it went just straight to zero. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a little bit weird. Maybe this guy's a hacker. I have no idea to be honest with y'all. Okay, so let's get this map. Wizards Keep. Um, Moon Landing is the map. Okay, so I don't know this map that well, but it's all good. All right, never mind. Um, let's see what we get. Shapes. Okay, shapes once again. I think we played on that for the game uh, number one. Yeah, we did actually. So let's see what we get as the fourth. Please, the ice. Okay, we're just not going to get the ice. <laughs> we keep on getting the sniper, but not the ice. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's all good. Okay, so like I said before previously, this is 100% your go-to strategy. Some people like to replace the ninja with the ice, but then that means you have absolutely no camera detection. Um, so that is not a good thing whatsoever, okay? So at least this guy is farming. That is a great sign because most people have not been farming. Okay, and he's using Ninja. Awesome. This is a great sign as well. All right, so we're going to be eco-choking him uh, relatively soon as well. I just want to make sure that it's um, one second before the income comes in. So yeah, right there. There we go. Looks like we're going to be leaking a few lives here and there, but I do not mind whatsoever. So with having this eco choke. That's going to allow us to outfarm him so freaking hard, like the first game, okay? He's just going to fall behind so much, and we're going to have such a big lead that it's going to be pretty ridiculous, okay? So, uh, we're going to be eco-choking him, of course, uh, once again here in a couple of seconds once our eco-choke comes back. But other than that, we should be big chilling, okay? So, um, here it comes back. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And we're going to have to go for another farm. I'm just like placing farms all over the map currently because I honestly have no idea where the heck to put any of the farms. Okay, so he's sending us quite a bit of eco right here, boys. Holy crap. All right, so I'm just going to get up another double shot ninja just to help clean up. We will be leaking some lives here and there, but it's all good. Okay, not an issue whatsoever. Okay, so we're eventually going to be going um, for our factory. So let's get up this. It looks like he's going to be sending us quite a bit of eco right here. So what I'm going to do is upgrade to that balloon jitsu. Let's eco choke him once more. And let's, while we're at it, send him some yellows. Okay, so hopefully he can indeed defend. I'm really not trying to kill him. He's going to be leaking quite a bit of lives right there. But he is indeed going to continue to live on. Okay, so I'm going to go for this uh, factory here. There we go. Looking solid. See, we have a factory versus his three plantations. Okay, so having the eco choke is absolutely insane just it's not even a fair honestly so if i was on the other end of this game i definitely would be raging okay definitely would be so uh we can send him a lead by the way might as well just do that it looks like he's gonna be able to get up a factory before round 11 uh maybe so we're gonna be going for this let's also sell this he's sending us a little bit of a rush what okay that's gonna be super easy to defend okay so oh he's getting up the ring of fire okay so we actually can't kill him round 13 or round 11 that is because he has the attack shooter, okay? So uh, we definitely can kill him to the camo balloons, but should... Oh! Oh, no. He's trying to kill us. And he doesn't even have... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God! Wh what just... No! Oh, my gosh. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually just get up one of these. There we go. To help clean up, of course. Wow. I could not... Wait, we're going to... We're going to defeat that, right? Holy crap. Okay, so what I was going to do next was build up... Oh, wait. Is he just going to allow me? What is he doing? I really just want to go late game with you, man. Please. 
Just farm. Dude, th like the iPhone, it sometimes messes up, man. Like, did you guys see what happened? He's just gonna surrender. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna have to blur out all of that because too, like, <laughs> what I did was like, I swiped up and so it went to like my notifications or a swipe down, something along the lines of that, man. I was just trying to like set down more ninjas on the map because he was rushing me with a ton of rainbows. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it just happened to swipe down all my notifications. So I'm gonna probably have to blur that out. So I apologize for that. But dude, we need to go late game. This is the ultimate goal for me. Okay, Hull Hulk. This guy looks good. Okay, please, please, please be able to defend around 11. I'm begging and I'm praying. I probably won't even rush him either because I just really want to go late. Okay. So let's skip the map Temple, of course. Ink blot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is quite a short map. Not going to work out for us. Um, okay, good thing that he skipped it. Let's see what we can get. Interchange. Okay, this is a map that could work out. Cool. Awesome. Once again, gonna be going Ninja Farm Super Monkey. And by the way, if I had to recommend a strategy for those shorter maps, I probably would incorporate something that does not have the Super Monkey, because you're most likely not gonna be going late. Um, so I would probably switch out to uh, the ninja with the ice because the arctic win ability or not the ability but the upgrade is just super duper op uh, so that's a hundred percent what i recommend uh so let's go for this 2-1 ninja of course it looks like he is just going to be leaking those lives he has the lightning bolts okay so that's a great thing this guy has decent powers awesome okay so we're going to be eco choking him of course right here though there we go he has the attack shooter which uh he should not be able to defend against most things honestly probably should have not upgraded to this 2-1 immediately but it's all good okay at least we'll be able to defend against the ai okay so uh it looks like he is indeed upgrading his attack shooter so that's a great thing so yeah good thing that he also does not have the eco choke because uh we would fall out um or fall behind in the farms as well i guarantee that this guy has these salty wounds like i would not freaking doubt it yes he does i freaking called it boys <laughs> what I literally called it, man. Wow. All right. Like, when he knocked down my tower, I was like, oh, 100%. 100,000% he has that. Okay, so we're going to have to eco choke him once again right here. There we go. So he's going to fall behind in the farms once again. Let's go for another farm right here. There we go. And uh, we're going to be going for a Republic here relatively soon as well. In this top one, or the top farm, I mean. And we also need another banana farmer. So let's get that down really quickly. There we go. We got to watch out because he could indeed knock out our tower. But what I usually do is just I sell my tower really quickly and then I just rebuild it. Okay, that's all I freaking do because uh, we're still able to defend. Honestly, he's farming pretty well for me eco choking him. Okay, he's not far behind what's so freaking ever boys. Okay, so what we're going to do is send him a lead and then a lot of pinks over top because I just want to put some pressure on his side 100,000%. Uh, let's see what he happens to do to this he's probably gonna be upgrading to a ring of fire would not doubt it uh but no he's gonna be using a lightning bolt okay and also upgrading to a heli so there he finally goes he's gonna be going for that factory well freaking done my friend well done so we're gonna be keeping this republic let's go for this uh next factory there there we go and he could most definitely rush us on round 11 luckily we have the village okay that's actually a huge perk for us uh so let's see what he happens to do right here he could send us like i said anything i'm a little bit nervous so i'm just gonna continue to farm because it looks like we have quite a bit of farms versus him so that's a great thing oh god oh my god i could not set this tower holy crap i could not set that i swear sometimes my my phone messes up and i can't set down the freaking tower okay so uh we were able to defend though so that's a good thing. Let's just continue our aggression with these farms. So normally I would go with the BIAs because we can just rack up eco and then we can utilize all the space that we have uh, to build up the temples and you're still going to get some money because your source of money is your eco. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you go with the factories, then you're going to have to eventually sell them in order to build up temples, which then all your source of money will be cut off. Um, so that's the only downside with going the factories, but I believe that you get like a lot quicker or you get money quicker okay that's just what that's what i was trying to say so we're gonna be going for another farm down here so let's do that right in this corner i'm trying my hardest man okay there we go and yeah we still are indeed out farming him looking really solid i don't think we're gonna be able to get another farm down here unfortunately but it's all good okay definitely all good so uh what we're probably gonna be doing is just yeah racking up money eventually going for a temple which i guess my first temple will be down here uh here he comes once again Oh, God. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to defend against that. Okay, so I was a little bit nervous for a second. It just happened to upgrade quickly to a Tech Terror, and he does. 
baseball me. Baseball me, man. That's not cool. Okay, so we have, unfortunately, no sacrificable towers. Uh, so let's go for this temple down here. There we go. Let's get the epic range on it as well. So, good. All right, so I hope this is not his strategy. I honestly have no idea what his next tower is. He is the darling... Guys, guys, you need to go Ninja Farm Super Monkey, okay? Always, literally always, unless it's a very, very short map, okay? That's the only exception, which most of the time you're not going to get short maps. Try to skip those maps, okay? If you happen to get a short map like Inkblot and stuff like that, unless you really prefer playing on it and you know how to get easy wins, just skip it, okay? Go on these longer maps, man. Oh my gosh, okay, so uh, we're just going to continue our aggression. Uh, did I go for this? Okay, all right. Um, I definitely did not mean to do that, but we're just gonna keep it, okay? I know I didn't sacrifice a tech terror within it, but I don't really care, I guess, at this point. So let's go for, um, our factory down here, or not our factory, our temple. Gosh, keep on saying the wrong things. Um, so I'm trying to get it down here. No, I do not want to quit. That would not be fun. So there we go. We got three temples in this bottom row. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'm just gonna go with the flow. I just really wanted to go late game, man. Like, Round 23, that's not late enough for me, okay? So, I'm just going to continue uh, going for these farms and then going from there, okay? We have $600,000, so we have all the money in the world, pretty much. Um, so, let's go for this next temple. There we go. Let's go for this. We can sell all these in the middle. There we go. Looking sharp, boys. Definitely looking sharp. So, probably not going to be able to put a temple in there. That's all good, though. Uh, let's set down our next temple in here. And let's get down our tech terror right over here, I guess. It might not sacrifice it. Uh, actually, it will. We're good. Okay, so there we go. Wow, he's rushing us. Wait, he just sent us something. I think like a Moab or something? What was that? Okay, and we still haven't even yet to use our Call to Arms ability. Of course, as you guys know, Call to Arms ability is freaking beautiful. Okay, it's very, very good. Okay, very, very OP. Um, so, yeah, we can just easily kill him. Actually, he has quite a bit of helis on the map. I don't know. What? Dude, maybe we should have, like, went oddball strategies because nobody was going ninja freaking farm super monkey. Like, I I just really don't understand, man. It's it's crazy to me. Okay, so uh, let's just sell all these farms up here, even though we don't even have that much money, okay? Because if we build up four more temples, then that's all of our money right there. So, uh, screw it. <laughs> just screw it at this point, man. Uh, let's get another one right there. There we go. And let's make sure that we have the epic range on all of these. I believe that we do indeed. Yeah, okay. Looking solid. All right, so uh, we can sell these two. Why the heck not? Who cares about money, man? I don't need money. Okay, I'm going to eventually need money, though. Uh, but for now, I guess I'm just going to build up these temples. So let's build up one right there. And I guess we only have to upgrade the right side. So I guess I can utilize my money a little bit more by just doing that. I wasn't really paying attention to that, though. Um, so let's get up another temple up there. <laughs> we literally have no money. I mean, like, we have $200,000, but, like, that's not a lot of speed bonanza. Not at all. Okay, so we're going to need more factories on the map then, probably. Because <laughs> all my source of money was cut off. As I said earlier, like, I'm going to have to eventually sell factories in order to build up temples. And so you guys can definitely see, like, the downside of going with the factory route. Okay, so uh, with having only three factories, too, that's not going to be a lot of money coming in. Uh, but it's all good. Okay, so <laughs> it looks like he's spamming the map with um, those dart lanes. So he should be good for the meantime. Uh, but eventually, yeah, it's not going to be good enough uh, for him to defend. I don't think I can get a farm in this bottom corner, unfortunately. Um, so, whatever. But I guess I'll just set one here then. <laughs> Dude, I have literally no freaking money, boys. This is crazy, man. Okay, so, oh yeah, we already have a banana farmer up there. Duh. Alright, so, oh, we can fit one up here. Cool. Let's get another one up there. There we go. Let's get a banana farmer over here, too. Okay, so, I guess we're just going to stack up money and go from there. Okay, I know for sure, 100,000%. That we would win so we might just want to rush him honestly like i mean at this point like what else is there to prove i just kind of wanted to fill the map with the temples but yeah might as well just rush him at this point so let's do that exactly and since it is speed these umgs are going to absolutely fly through his map okay so with going my strategy we have of course super monkey strongest tower in the game then we have the stalling ability on our ninjas so i'm definitely not scared about these umgs especially too because we have a boost i'm just going to show you guys that boost right now okay because it absolutely shreds okay <laughs> i can only show you like a second of it but it absolutely shreds through mob class balloons so i definitely 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 encourage you guys to go this power loadout um unless you do have the dual eco boost then replace the turbo mobs with that okay um i mean the turbo mobs pretty good i mean it is speed already but they're gonna be super fast if you use it i probably should have used it just to show you guys 
Um, but yeah, any combination that involves the Big Balloon Buster and the Eco Choke is probably going to be pretty good for you, okay? So that is going to wrap up today's video. We absolutely just demolished every single player today. Not trying to be toxic or cocky like we literally did, though. Like, so you guys can see how easy it is to win in Speed Bonanza and Ceramic Crucible, okay? So if you guys are struggling to win medallions, definitely I encourage you guys for the rest of the day to play this mode. Go Ninja Farm Super Monkey on longer maps and you will win, okay? So if you guys did indeed enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and while you're at it, if you have not already, make sure to click that subscribe button, all right? So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, what was the super OP fourth my opponent had in the last video? And the answer is the village. So this guy, I want to congratulate you, Ben. Yes, that village really won him the game, like, Heli Ice Village is super OP, but he meant to go Heli Farm Ice, okay? So, he didn't even intend or plan to have that village, but he had it as his fourth, so obviously it just enhanced his towers a crap ton, and there was no way I was going to be able to defeat him, okay? So, congratulations, man, on your shoutout. So, the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, how many games did we win in today's video? I feel like we won so many. I honestly forget how many games we played. So make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section. And you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. By the way, surrendering does count. Even if it's in the lobby, okay? Because I, I remember that happened. Just a little hint. So I hope you guys did enjoy once again this video, Robotrix or Justin. Peace out, everybody.